Hi guys, we're reading Clues of Chemical Changes, a mini book from Lesson 8. Make sure you have your clue cards printed out and you can fill in the different clues that you're going to learn of the chemical changes uh, in this mini book. I want you to write and draw each clue on a separate clue card and bring them to class on Thursday show them so you can show them to us a detective looks for clues to help him or her solve mysteries in doing chemistry experiments you can be a science detective and look for clues to help you figure out what is going on part of being a good science detective is knowing what clues to look for and what information you can gather from these clues when doing experiments, you can look for signs to help you know if a chemical change is taking place. Clue number one. Do you see bubbles? Bubbles are a sign of a chemical change in which gas is produced. When vinegar and baking soda are mixed, bubbles are produced as carbon dioxide gas is released. Bubbles do not always indicate a chemical change. We also see bubbles in boiling water, but this is just an indication of a phase change. Remember, a new substance will be formed if a chemical change has taken place. In this photo, the solid medicine tablets contain sodium bicarbonate, baking soda, and citric acid in water. These two compounds react with each other. The carbon dioxide gas is released as a product. These tablets are used to treat certain types of pain, including stomach aches. Clue number two, do you smell a new odor? A change in smell, odor, is an indication of a chemical change. Have you ever opened the fridge and smelled something foul? Or have you noticed the stinky smell of rotting food in the garbage can? Smell is a sign of a chemical reaction where the food molecules are being broken down through a process called decomposition. Decomposition is a chemical reaction in which a compound breaks down into its individual parts, forming new substances. Even though food decomposition smells bad, it is a necessary part of nature as it recycles matter into usable nutrients and minerals. For instance, if your family plants a garden, you may have used compost or fertilizer, which is full of decomposed matter. This decomposed matter adds nutrients to the soil. Clue number three. Do you sense a change in temperature or see a light? Chemical changes may release or absorb heat. If the reaction feels hot, it means heat is being released. This is called an exothermic reaction. If the reaction feels cold, it means heat is being absorbed. This is called an endothermic reaction. The prefix en sounds a lot like in. Use this to remember that heat is taken into the reaction, leaving the surrounding area cold to the touch. The prefix X means out, so if heat is going out, it will feel hot in the area surrounding the reaction. In exothermic reactions, we may also see light as well as feel heat. Physical changes can also be endothermic or exothermic, just as heat is a part of phase changes. The important thing to note is whether the heat is a result of the elements changing into something new. A burning match is an exothermic chemical reaction because the heat is a result of new substances being formed, ash and smoke. Clue number four. Do you see a change in color? A change in color is another clue of a chemical change. You can see examples of this in your daily life. For example, when bananas ripen, they go from green to yellow to black. This is because of the decomposition, breaking down of starch molecules into sugar molecules. 
Another example of color change as a clue of a chemical change is the production of rust on metal. This is corrosion. Corrosion happens when metals deteriorate as they react with water vapor and oxygen in the air. Clue number five. Do you see a solid form? The scientific term for a chemical change in which a solid forms in a liquid is a precipitation reaction. The precipitate that forms in the liquid is insoluble. Remember, insoluble means it cannot dissolve. In this image, a yellow precipitate is formed above the green liquid. Clue number six, do you hear a sound? Hearing a sound is a sign of a chemical change. Two examples are the sizzling sounds when food is being cooked or the popping sounds of a firecracker. When a firecracker is lit, the heat causes the solid compounds to react with each other. Gas is produced and the firecracker explodes. Think about mixing baking soda and vinegar. Can you hear any sizzling sounds from that chemical reaction?